What's going on guys, Spasmodic here, back inside Destiny 2, and in this video I'm going to be covering the vault puzzle that was recently solved within the Zero Hour mission. I'll be explaining what is required to begin this puzzle and what to do in order to complete it. Completing it will grant you and your fireteam progress towards the Outbreak Perfected Catalyst and the Exotic Ship Schematic. This puzzle may seem very confusing at first, but once you understand what goes on during it, it's honestly pretty easy to do. To start, you'll have to collect the Void Configuration and the three key cards. The Void Configuration can be found in the back corner where Eva Levante used to stand back in the old tower. Interacting with the Void Configuration will put it in your pursuits and each person of your fireteam will have to pick it up for themselves. For the first key card, the blue key card, it can be found in the first vent room, but instead of going through normally, turn around, shoot the vent, and grab the key card. One person picking up the key cards gives it to the entire fire team, so each person doesn't have to grab it. The next key card, which is the green key card, can be found in the room right before you enter the pipes to begin scaling the city wall. The third key card, the red key card, can be found in the room right after the outside wall jumping section. This is also before the long slide you take further down into the maze. Instead of heading to the right to the slide, head left for the keycard. Once all keycards are obtained, continue through the zero hour mission like you normally would until you reach the vault. You will need the void configuration and the keycards to be able to interact with the consoles in the vault room. When upon entering the vault room, it's best to take a look at this picture here. I'll be putting a link to this in the description box below. It basically lays out the entire vault room, and it may seem like a lot to take in, but it's it's really not. You want to pay attention to the three main consoles or terminals in the main room, basically the first two. The one next to the green and white room, and the one next to the scion and blue room. Each room in the vault room has seven consoles in them labeled 1 through 7. This could be seen in the middle square of the picture that has the consoles labeled 1 through 7. On the consoles within the vault rooms, there are two circles that are divided into 12 sections. This can be seen in the circle labeled 1 through 12 on the picture in the bottom right. The first console next to the green and white room will be the main console that you will be interacting with. Two sections of both circles will light up as seen in the video. You will want to read the circles from left to right, so as it's being shown in the video right now, when the left circle has the 10th section lit up and the right circle has the 3rd section lit up, it would be 10-3. And according to the picture, this would be green 4 meaning that one person of your fire team or even yourself has to go into the green room and lock the fourth console, which would be in the very middle of the room. You will hear the consoles make a little tune, it'll light up green, and you'll gain 15 seconds on your zero hour timer. You must do this same thing over and over until you have completed the 49 sequences that are required for the void configuration. Completing all 49 sequences will grant you the completion of it and you'll be granted the exotic ship schematic and the progress towards your exotic catalyst. There will eventually be some duplicate codes that pop up as seen on the chart in the picture. This is when it's best to check the second console next to the Scion and Blue Room, where it will display another code with the two circles. This will then tell you which console to lock. Another person of your fire team can be checking the second console so the first console person doesn't have to run back and forth. So, for example, the first console could have the circles displaying 1 and 1. Since 1 and 1 could be either white 1 or red 2, it's best to check the second console in the vault room to see if it displays either 2 and 12 or 4 and 5. These can get annoying because duplicate codes on the consoles can eat up time, but it won't matter too much because you'll be getting 15 seconds back for each correct code put in. And that's basically it. Just rinse and repeat this 49 times until you have the void configuration complete. It's also smart to track your void configuration so you're able to check how close you are to finishing instead of opening your menu every single time. So for a little recap, there will be two main consoles that have two circles on each that you read from, each sectioned 1 through 12. There are seven rooms total in the vault room that have seven consoles within them. The first console between the green and white room, which is basically the back left of the vault room, will display a code with the two circles that must be put into the corresponding console in whichever colored room that may be. If it's a duplicate code, check the second console between the scion and blue room, which is basically the front right of the vault room, lock the code into the corresponding console in whichever colored room the code belongs to. Repeat this 49 times and you will have completed the void configuration. 
Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative in any way. If you have any questions, concerns, or additional comments to add to this video, please put them down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later back inside Destiny 2. Peace.